Um, I'm Claire Warden. I'm delighted to be here again. Um, how many people were here last year and can remember it? Well done. Good. To those people, hello. Welcome back. Um, for the people I haven't met yet, nice to meet you. Look forward to chatting to you today. Let me introduce my Motley crew. Hope you get... <coughs> here they are. <laughs> I'm going to run through. They change places all the time just to see if I recognise them, but I do, so it's all all right. Um, right, first person on the right, this is Dan. Dan, you saw in the DVD. Nice wave, Dan. Um, Dan is very much involved with the nature kindergartens, right? So the nature kindergartens that we have in Scotland, I'll be mentioning those a lot today. Um, they spend about 90% of the time outside. Wraparound care, if you like, for children from the ages of two to the ages of five and a half, which in Scotland is when they move on to a, um, a different environment, if you like, within some of the schools that we have there. So that's Dan's work. Um, next to that is Joe. Joe is very much um, uh, based in St Albans, um, a real expert in terms of the world of observation, which is the workshop she's going to be running today. Next to Joe is Kate. And Kate, you know in every class there's a little bit of a dynamic person, a little bit of a whirling dervish. Kate is our whirling dervish, all right? So she's our challenging child in the network. Constantly moving, constantly active. So you'll meet Kate a little bit later on again, I'm sure. Um, and she's going to be doing some really good workshop um, on interference and interaction. Next along is Anne. Anne um, is going to be doing a lovely workshop today on transient art, beyond the art table. Um, Anne's just recently joined the team. We're delighted to have her with us. And so her background is very much involved with teaching and working in early years. Next... <laughs> to add is Nikki Buchan. Now, last time I was here, I called Nikki the matriarch of the team because she is older than me by a fraction, so I can still say that, which makes it much, uh, much better for me. So, that's right. So Nikki is the matriarch, and she is the head of these, um, these two centres, so she looks at quality improvement um, and is obviously very much involved with the publications that we do at Mind Stretches, which you can see outside on the table if you wish to have a look at them. That's it, Motley Crew. Lovely. Thank you very much. You can now leave. It's all right. Now, we're going to um, spend a little bit of time um, until coffee running through um, the PowerPoint and sharing some thinking. Um, and I know, no apologies for those people who were here last year that some of the pictures are going to be similar um, because repetition and consolidation are key and important part of being involved in education. But I'm also going to push you a little bit further to, to really dig in, to look at what are the issues that surround young children, and more specifically, the children who have a kinesthetic style of behaviour. And for a lot of people, they associate that style of learning with boys, although we'll come to maybe question that a little bit later on. So the first thing that's going to happen is that I'm going to show you an image. Uh, it's going to come up on this screen. And what I want you to do is turn to the person sitting next to you and have a little bit of a conversation about it. All right, now the answer is duck, so you don't need to worry at all about answers in this. It's about a light-hearted way of chatting to each other and have a conversation about this lovely, lovely image. If you don't know the person sitting next to you, obviously say hello. If you like sitting like Mrs. No Mates, make sure that you join up. All right, off you go. interesting for me, obviously because I'm at the front of the room looking down on all of you, in actual fact it's very similar to the way that young children learn. We've got a whole group of people who straight away went into conversations about affirmation of given knowledge. Yep, definitely a duck. Yeah, definitely. She said it was a duck. Yeah, I'll confirm that. It was definitely a duck. There's a whole group of people, however, who sat like statues, who didn't say a word to each other, who are just still trying to wake up, and that's also fine. Um, they'll warm up, right? Just as children do, they take a bit longer to get into the whole thing about what is learning and what am I doing here and what day is it anyway. Um, and then we've got a group of people who are beginning to question whether or not there was a hidden agenda behind the question, all right? So there's a group of people who are going, she's asking us to what? Talk about that lovely image. Why would we be talking about that lovely image? Is there a trick? Is there a secret thing I don't know about ducks that I should know about ducks? So that's going on in your heads too. Let me just reassure you at this point that there are no right and wrong answers here. Everybody is a researcher. Everybody is a thinker. And so we as a collective group are going to go on a journey. And we are going to share it in a humorous way. Because like Shakespeare, you may have heard of him, I think that it's actually very important that we actually laugh, not at children, because they are the most serious thing, but we actually start to look critically at what the adults around the children are doing. Because 
I have traveled the world now, and the more I see, the more it makes me laugh. 